All right, so this is kind of a impromptu long-range ballistics gel test. So what you guys are going to see in this video is the first of the my long-range ballistics gel test with the 7 SOM, as well as the first long-range ballistics gel test done with the Sierra Match King board. So, as you guys know, if you've been following me around time, I've shot the 183 Match King for quite some time in my 7 SOM. I have several loads worked up with the 183 Match King. Um, I've got several videos shooting this thing out to extreme distances, as well as many competition videos shooting the 183 Match King. As a matter of fact, the most recent competition video that you guys saw me post, uh, my first match of the year, um, this is the load that I was shooting with the 183 Match King. So, it's rare for me that I get to uh, shoot one bullet for any extended period of time. So, if you guys have been following me, you know that I do the long range ballistics, or I do the long range ballistics gel testing, I do bullet reviews, I do bullet truing, all sorts of different things. So, I'm always testing different bullets. And throughout all those testing, I'm always working up a different load. And so I've always got different loads for different purposes, but I've yet to come across a load that I can can be one load to rule them all. And it would be nice to eventually one day be able to have just load one thing, not have a book full, or, I mean, it's nice to have a book full of different loads, don't get me wrong, but it would be nice to not have to be constantly flipping back and forth working on different loads and load up one thing that I can shoot for all my purposes. And I would be, it would be nice if the 183 Match King could be that bullet in my seven psalm so i've shot this th i shoot this thing to elr distances it's a fantastic elr bullet really high ballistic coefficient this thing is launching at 2980 feet per second at the muzzle so almost 3000 feet a second with this really high bc bullet really great elr bullet really consistent um, extremely accurate really good velocity bucks the wind really well great match bullet now we're going to find out how it is as a hunting bullet. So now this is going to be the first oh, test uh, that I plan to do at you know, or at long range distances uh, with the 183 Match King. Um, based on how this performed in this video, I want to do some more testing at different distances and hopefully catch one. We didn't catch this this bullet in this video, but as you guys will see, it absolutely performed. So what you guys are going to see is the 183 Match King. 2,980 feet per second at the muzzle into the ballistics gel. The gel is at 1,012 yards, so over a thousand yards. And one other thing I want to say is, um, would I a, a, a thousand twelve yards? Probably not a distance that even with my seven som, even knowing the punch that it packs, even at that distance, it's probably not. A, this is probably probably not a a load that I or a a round a cartridge that I am going to hunt beyond a thousand yards with but if this thing will perform uh sufficiently at beyond a thousand yards then i know that anything inside there um is going to it's going to perform the standards that i need it to so this is the first long range ballistics gel test with the 183 match king here it is Okay, I think that was gel. We're gonna send one more at it. It looks. go that's our gel all right good deal let's go down and check this out that was tough this mirage made it so hard to see that gel it really blended in with that target all right so there you go. Um, really happy with that. Now, like I said in the beginning, we did not catch the bullet. Um, when I went out to do this test, I had went out. I had actually had. I, I had actually went out to 
test something else completely completely different from this, um, which I think you guys will be really interested in when when this all comes to fruition. But in uh, while I was out there, I had the seven psalm. I had uh, I think five rounds left over from my ciders from my last match, um, and I had the ballistics gel. I was actually planning on melting this ballistics gel down uh, last night, but uh, because I hadn't done that yet. I saw that there was a clear enough spot right here that looked like we might be able to get a good test, and that is actually where we ended up plugging the gel. So um, it worked out. We were able to get a good test out of it. But like I said, I do plan to test this again. Hopefully we can capture one of these, find out uh, exactly what they're doing in this gel. But what did we see here at 1,012 yards with the 183 Match King launching at 2,980 feet per second? So... We had a full pass through through this first block. Um, as you guys saw, it entered it entered about an inch and a half in from the side of the block, um, made it all the way through, and right here at the end of the block, it started to veer out and shoot out the side of the block. Um, as you will see, it actually started to split the block open here in the end, um, and it traveled about maybe an inch and a half into the second block as it skipped off to the side. So there's no point in even looking at that second block. So what do we have here? So um, this is actually shows some similarities to some of the other ballistics gel testing that we've done. So um, this, like I said, is a thousand and twelve yards, our entrance. Um, you have our entrance and the bullet travels in about six inches before it starts to open up. I'm assuming that is a tumble. Obviously, like I said, since we didn't capture the bullet, we won't actually know for sure if that is tumbling or if the bullet's coming apart. But because I'm not seeing, seeing any fragments along that wound channel, that kind of tells me that more than likely this was a tumble and not bullet separation. So. Um, the bullet comes in at about six inches. It starts to it starts to tumble um, at about twelve inches. So it it continues to tumble at about twelve inches. It looks like it's at its widest point. Um, this is where it splits the block open. So our measurement that we got here was two point two inches at its widest point at the twelve inch mark. Um, and as you'll see, that is where the block is actually split open. So you can bet that this probably would have been two and a half inches or larger of a wound cavity at its widest point. Now, that's actually pretty significant. So if you compare this to like the uh, 108 uh, ELD match bullet test out of the six Creedmoor that we did, launching at over 3,100 feet per second at 800 yards. This is a larger wound cavity. It, it actually very similar characteristics. It went at about six inches, started to tumble, but this created a larger wound cavity at a further distance. So what is our energy and velocity here on target? So um, at 1,012 yards, our energy on target was 1,405 foot-pounds of energy delivered from the 183 Match King at 1,860 feet per second. So this thing is still moving, um, still well above super, still well supersonic, um, and still plenty of energy to well over a thousand foot-pounds. So would I feel comfortable uh, so far with this first initial test, what I'm seeing? Now, what I'm hoping for is when we test this again at various distances, other distances, we will test it further and closer, um, that we see a, that it acts similarly. What, we, what we're hoping for is if this bullet is tumbling, we're hoping that it does that every time. So we're hoping that the next test, we're going to see consistency. So I'm going to melt these gel blocks down, um, and one of our next ballistics gel tests will be the 183 Match King again at another distance and see if we're seeing a consistent pattern and see if we get that tumble in the same spot, um, if we get a similar wound cavity, bigger wound cavity at closer distances, similar things like that. So this was the initial test of the 183 Match King. Really happy um, showing me that it's going to perform at distances beyond what I would probably even shoot at a piece of game. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you guys want to see more ballistics gel tests, I have several other ballistics gel test videos you guys can find in my library. Um, there will be several more coming as well as many other long range shooting videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.